In this video, traders are going to look at the new eSports ETF. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So unless you've been living under a rock for the past several years, you're going to know about eSports. Massive new wave of entertainment that's taken off. Loads of traction in Asia. Traction starting to come in Europe and in America as well. It really is becoming a big thing. So of course, when things are starting to trend and when it's going to be a big thing and there's an investment coming in, you know what? The ETF, ETF guys get on it straight away and go, right, get an ETF. So what is eSports? So eSports is basically where you've got people playing games, video games against each other, whether it's online, whether it's in massive arenas and events, they have teams, they have leagues, there's sponsorships, there's hardware, there's software, there's the games, there's loads of angles of investment from it. Video games have been popular for years. This is kind of an, an extra boost like wave, if you like. So video games have always been popular and have always been profitable for companies that are doing it right. But this is like a new competitive angle to it and a bit more of a perhaps camaraderie, there's streaming, there's a bit more of a social aspect to it. And that's my kind of take on it anyway. So there's loads of companies involved in the esports industry, but if you want to get exposure, ETFs aren't a bad way of getting exposure to a specific thread, whether it's a cannabis ETF, whether it's a uh, you know, financials ETF, tr more traditional thing, or something new like this eSports. So let's look at the eSports ETF. Let's look at some of the holdings and what they're filling up with. So the way that I look at ETFs, guys, is that potentially, even if you don't want to invest in the ETF, even if you don't want to trade the ETF, because we'll look at some of the numbers in a moment, like daily volume and stuff. But what it does do is that when you're researching the ETF and you're looking through, you're kind of highlighted to some stocks which might not have been on your radar before, which then might come into something that you maybe want to trade if you hear some news that is a catalyst. So even if you're not a swing trader, even if you're not an investor, this kind of research helps potentially your trading in the future. Anyway, let's move on. So. Esports ETF, nerd is the code for this, pretty cool uh, ticker code. Actively involved in esports and other digital entertainment industries. That's the criteria, if you like. So reasonably loose, but you see this is quite a good ETF because even though it's reasonably loose, the holdings aren't that weighted that much. They're kind of quite nicely split, which I like in an ETF. All right, so these are the kind of criteria that you have to meet to get to this ETF. You're either a video game publisher in video game publishing, video game development, Streaming platforms where games are streamed and people are watching them online, um, people are watching players online, like uh, I guess Twitch is a similar thing. Uh, tournaments and events, so holding those big events and tournaments that are filling out massive stadiums. Guys, these things are huge. Uh, video game leagues, so the leagues obviously just like a, a football league. Uh, video game teams, uh, competitive video game teams, not just uh, a few guys from the pub getting together and playing uh, Call of Duty. Uh, hardware and tech, obviously. Big thing, you know, the hardware is running the whole thing, so whether it's your screens, whether it's your PCs, uh, whether it's your headsets, etc. So let's have a look first of all, look at the top 10 holdings. Currently trading at $15.50 at the time of doing this video. 0.25% expense ratio, important to know if you're holding it for any period of time. Day volume at the moment, only 14,000 shares. So it's not something, it's not a day trading vehicle by any means. However, there's probably enough in there for you to have a holding if it's something you're interested in for a longer term play. So have a look, so the top 10 holdings, almost 53% of the uh, of the top 10 holdings, uh, this is the weighting, so 53% of the holdings are in the top 10. And they're pretty evenly split as well. It's like 6%, uh, 5%. So it's not like we've got massive, uh, some of the ETFs, you have like 60% of the ETFs in one, and it almost feels like it's a bit of a, mm, you know, a bit of a token gesture. Hey, we're all in one, and then a few little other things spreading the risk for the rest of them. But this one's quite nicely split. So top 10 holdings, got Activision Blizzard, uh, Games, probably familiar with that one. C Limited, based off Singapore ADR. It's an ADR Singapore, and actually, that's a theme throughout all this, guys. We've got Polish, got Swedish, we've got um, from Singapore, we've got Chinese, multiple different companies from all over the world, and that's potentially one of the good things about this ETF is you can be in a US brokerage account, or even if you're trading via a CFD or spread bet, and maybe this is available depending on the brokerage platform you're using, and you can then get access to all these different stocks from all these different countries. Whereas you may, well, if you wanted to invest in specifically in some of these, you might have to kind of open a foreign brokerage account. There's all sorts of different things. You've got to obviously have the, the currency risk against your native currency and all that. So it might be a good way of doing it. Anyway, back to the C Limited, it's an ADR from Singapore. 
Afrika TV, that's a streaming service. Modern Times Group, it's a Swedish company that do games and more. Uh, H-U-Y-A Huya, I guess you can pronounce it. And by the way, some of these I'm not familiar with, some of them I are. Some of them have just been some research here for this video. Uh, that's a Chinese streaming, so I guess it's like similar to Twitch. Turtle Beach, they do gaming headsets. Uh, Ubisoft Games as well. Uh, MicroStar, they do the hardware for all the gaming. Uh, CD Projekt, they do games. Uh, and Capcom, they do games and hardware. I think Capcom were one of the ones who did like Street Fighter many years ago. And I think Ubisoft did things like um, A Time Crisis. I've not played uh, video games for many years, but uh, familiar with some of the older ones. So that's it, guys. That's the Nerd Esports ETF. Go and check it out. And also check out, obviously, there's more holdings in there. Those are the top 10 just for now. Uh, go and have a look at those. And like I say, if you're not interested perhaps in the ETF, it sometimes sparks a bit of interest to see a new trend that's developing. Is there a play there? Is an investment play that's perhaps not this, but maybe it's, okay, well, I want to get an angle on the leagues. I want to get an angle on the streaming services. I think that Europe is the next thing. I think that Germany, or, and then trying to be a more laser focused. So go and check it out, guys. Nerd Esports ETF. See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.